Let's just back up. Let's give her some space. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Shield Outdoors. In this video, we're going to talk about licking branches, licking sticks, communal sticks that the deer will rub their faces on. And that's how they say hello in this country, the country of the deer world. So, first off, shout out to a couple of people. If you saw some of our last videos, we did some shout outs to uh, Lindy Boys. We did some shout outs to uh, Coffee Outdoors. And all they had to do was support our channel, comment below. So if you want a chance for a shout out, comment below this video and I will shout you out in a future video. Also, don't forget about our giveaways, Texas Rice Hunting Products, which we will be using some of that today on this. And we'll also be doing a cash giveaway here in a couple of weeks. So, Joey already did the honors of uh, burying this beautiful stick. Now, if you guys remember, it's kind of hard to, to reference with the corn now growed up. Back in like October of last year, a stick fell out of the tree, stuck in the ground, and I liked it. But I actually had to move it a little bit to get it in front of the camera. And I was like, you know what, we'll see if anything licks on this. We had multiple videos and pictures of does, bucks, just running in just to sniff the very tip of this. So what we're gonna do is first I'm gonna put some water on the ground to uh, help concrete this in because it's really, really dry. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of water. Boom, that's gonna be like clay. So now, hopefully this stick is here a little bit. Now this is not something, you're not gonna expect a buck to come rub this like crazy, especially this time of the year. They will literally nibble on this and they will sniff on this. Let me get into my handy dandy fanny pack. Let's see, we should have some preorbital in here somewhere. Preorbital is the gland by a deer's eye and they boom, right here. So we're just gonna boop, 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 boop. We're gonna top that off just a tiny bit. Boom, and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna keep this um, pretty, what, did I drop a cap? Oh, here it is. So we're gonna keep this fairly reserved. I mean, it is the middle of summer, guys. Plus, this is gonna be something new. It's, the deer are gonna be curious. So, we're gonna go make another one of these, except we're gonna do it with a hanging vine. Um, and we're also gonna have videos today. We'll have videos of doing mock scrapes and also using some Hunter's Creed just to show um, how hormones do affect deer in the summertime. Because don't think deer won't do this. They do this all summer. So let's move on to another one and let's do, uh, maybe this time let's try to get a hanging licking branch. All right guys, super excited about this one. Your machete's bent, Joe. Anyway, so we wanted to find a really good spot to have a hanging vine licking branch. Now come look at this. All right, so look at this. You see this vine? Look how high up it goes. And it hangs out to about right here, right? So now look where I'm at, right on the edge of this vegetation. Now, if, you, if you're in the deer hunting, you've ever watched deer from your stand, they love walking just outside of vegetation. So our goal here, before we even get started, we're gonna show you the whole process. We're going to try to measure this vine, have it swing out this way, and hopefully it hangs right about here, maybe this high, so that deer can look up, they can sniff it, they can lick it, and they can rub their uh, preorbital glands all over it. Should be about. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to get rid of this one. It's in my way. Boom! Oh, goodness. Oh. Ha! Throw okay. that poison ivy juice all over you. Yeah, that one's out of the way now. Just go ahead and okay. let it drip on you. This thing, oh, it's live in the middle. Good. Oh, oh, yes. Look at this. This is excellent. This is very, very, very excellent. So, imagine a deer. I'm a deer. I'm not gonna rub my face on there. I don't wanna leave too much human scent on it and we're already out here goofing around. Goofing around with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put preorbital scent on here. Again, not too much and we're not even gonna make a scrape. Now, if the deer so choose to make a scrape, good for them, that's them communicating. But for now, I'm gonna put some preorbital on this and the, the deer will actually, when they get a little bit more um, aggressive, they will, uh, they will actually nibble on this and kind of eat it down. Just a little bit, maybe a little bit up high. Now, I think we have one very old cheap camera. We're gonna relocate it to this. We're gonna leave the spy point uh, on the Rackology because those are just tremendous pictures, beautiful pictures. But we don't have any more cameras with us, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw a cheap camera on this tree, probably right here, just to try to get a really good view of this. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So again, the main points of this video are getting deer to come to a certain area or check a certain branch. And typically you're gonna to wanna to do this right next to your tree stand, okay? So 
so like we have the blind right here joe turn to your right literally 10 yards away is the um sniper pinnacle um uh, elevated blind that we assembled last summer and video to you guys can go back and watch that this is what deer communication is all about so if you guys have any comments for um, licking branches, hanging branches, drop a comment below or send us a message. We'll check back up on this in a couple weeks and see how it goes. Let me know in the comments if you've done this before and if it was successful for you. Thank you so much. Make sure you click like, follow, subscribe. Bye.